some of the most severe climate changes being faced by Australia. But pollution, food, oceans, extinctions, uh, all kinds of stuff. Rapidly receding glaciers, we have sea level rise. Resource scarcity, population growth. We had two billion people on the planet in 1900. We're at seven billion today, and we're on our way to nine billion. Pollution, it's really weird that we sort of accept that as something normal. We, we understand that climate change is happening, it's happening rapidly. We somehow are programmed to have certain experience we cannot do alone, yes? We need to work together to create something new. Healthy lifestyles and vibrant street life can be embedded in urban design. Well, that's because we're all unique, we're all individual, and we all have very different spatial needs. And where people go and where people meet are at the core of what makes a city work. We really should care about building social connections. We're going to call it publicly that the pedestrian is our focus. That's our priority. It's the indicator species of a healthy city, a sustainable city, and economically viable. So our roads, our buildings, our neighborhoods, our parks, our sidewalks, these are emotional infrastructure. Streets are the rivers of life in the city. We now know that Walking and biking infrastructure is essentially free. It throws off positive dividends to society. There's no great city that you don't enjoy walking in. Uh, it's a, a street network that allows many routes instead of singular routes. I had access to greenery right there on the street. What it means is that we need to weave more nature into cities, into the connected, dense urban environment. If you want people to drive less, Take the road away, take the lanes away, and guess what happens? They do something else. They ride their bike, they take the train. It's called induced demand. But streets are also a stage where public life can take place. And public life really is the essence of cities. But it should be more a co-creation between people and planners to design our future cities. And what kind of city are we going to want to live in? And what kind of society are we going to want to be? The locals are surely experts over their streets. And we, urban planners, we want to know what they know. Co-ownership and bottom-up community planning. I saw how citizen involvement could make a difference in success or failure. To build better cities, we need both. A thorough understanding of street life and a view from above. Maybe instead of making masterpieces, I should focus more on making pieces that fit together. And public space is one of the most important reasons why you stay in a city. Everyone in this room has the power to choose that future today. Changing the way we think might just be the most important project for all of humanity.